Chapter 4 Productivity Appa Bloom awoke just after sunrise. When she heard a crash coming from the kitchen, she wiped the sleep out of her eyes and she quietly trotted downstairs to see what is happening. When she entered the kitchen, she was surprised to see row upon row of jars filled with freshly prepared zap apple jam. Somewhere and hidden behind them, she could only see the outline busily stirring the current, the current pot of jam with the simultaneously stirring out of the correct amount of honey. Say us, she asked. Apple Bloom, Applejack said, startled. What in the hell are you doing awake so early? I heard a crash, Apple Bloom said. She ma- she maneuvered her way to the kitchen, making sure to not to not knock over the personally stacked jars. How long you been up? How long you made this jam? Ah, oh, once I got a little more focused, the rest was easy. Don't you worry none, little sis. I'll have the jam jarred and ready for sale two weeks earlier than expected. Though can we get all done with this financial nonsense? He'll get his order all right. Applejack said, speaking so quickly it was hard for Apple Bloom to hear or understand what she was saying. Apple Bloom took a step back and accidentally hit the kitchen table where the completed jar of jam wobbled and threatened to fall. Apple Bloom gasped and tried to catch it before she could, before it could hit the ground. Applejack beat her to it, swiping the jar in from midair and setting it down on the ground before hurrying back to the jam. And as she was making, Apple Bloom blinked in a couple of times in awe at her sister's speed and agility. Has she become, has she always been this focus? Uh, how many jars do you think you got there, sis? I don't recall making this much jam last year, and we haven't been able to get most of the, the trees yesterday. Apple Bloom asked wearily. Oh, I finished the bucking. Apple Jack said matter of frequently, finish the bucking on your own, all of them. Apple Jack, uh, Apple Bloom gasped in disbelief. Yep, we'll have more jam than this season ever before. Apple Jack said, but when do Granny and I get the help to make the jam? Apple Bloom asked. You don't have to worry about this year, little sis. I've got y'all covered, Applejack said, oblivious to the longing of her sister's tone. But Granny promised! Apple Bloom whined indifferently. The thing is, Apple Bloom, Granny's got a lot on her plate now with Big Mac being gone, and I figure I got a lot of the jam being lot faster. But it just ain't fair! I already told the Crusaders they can ha- come and help out of this year's batch. Apple Bloom protested. Sometimes you can't have what you want. That's how life goes. But, Apple Bloom, I'm not arguing about this now. But, Applejack, I said no! Applejack screamed. She turned her. She turned to Apple Bloom and growled with a slight twitch in her eye. Apple Bloom felt the pit of his stomach drop, and she backed away from her nervously. She never seen the sister so, her sister so angry before, and it frightened her. After a moment of silence, Applejack blinked a few times and shook her head, returning to the pot of jam. I was about to ask if I could help you, Apple Bloom whispered. Applejack paused for a moment and looked back on her little sister with a frown. I'm sorry, sis. Why don't you come and just roll along and play instead? I'm doing just fine on my own, Applejack said. Her tone of words letting Apple Bloom know that the decision was final, defeated and slightly hurt by her sister's words. Apple Bloom left the kitchen while fighting back a sniffle.